You just saw Reddy. Now watch our steady. You have to be very steady when using the fire hose. Mummy's ready. Steady. Go. Mummy dog fixes the hose to the fire engine. Mummy pony rolls out the hose. And Mummy pig points the squirty end at the target. Turn the water on. Water on. The target is hit and the fire is out! Hooray! That looks fun! It's hard work, Daddy Pig! Is it really? Yes! Just feel how heavy this fire hose is! Oh, yes! That is heavy! And that's even before we've turned the water on! Turn the water on! OK! It is not easy to hold a fire hose steady. That was hard work. Now you see why we need to be super fit. Yes! And how do we get super fit? On the Fire Station Obstacle Course. This is the Fire Station Obstacle Course. Running through this keeps us fit and healthy. So that in an emergency we can keep going. We've shown our ready and our steady. Now let's practice our go. Ready, steady, go! The first obstacle is the inconvenient wall. Go! Go! Yee! Woo! Next is the confusing crawling tube. Oh, where am I? Oh, here I am. Go, Mummy, go! Across the seesaw of general upsets. Ah! Through the tricky tippy toe tyres. One, two, one, two, one, two. Up the sloping rope walk. <sighs> And down the yippee zip wire. Yippee! 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 Oh dear, Mummy Pig is stuck. <gasps> Mummy, are you all right? I'm fine, Pepper. Actually, this mud is quite nice. Stay there, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee! 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 <laughs> oh, yes. Maybe it was meant for someone else. Delivery for Daddy Pig. Thank you, Mr. Zebra. Look, it's a picture of me, George, and Daddy in our car. Yes, next to a no parking sign. It says I have to have a lesson to learn how to park. Daddy has to go to school. <laughs> it is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, 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 Mr Pig. Uh, can I help you? Yes, it's about the parking ticket. It's just routine. Nothing to worry about. You're not planning on leaving the country, are you? No. Are you ready for your parking lesson? Yes. Marvellous. Follow me. This is a no parking sign. It is important to look out for signs on the public highway. That's right. Police Officer Panda will now show you how to park. <laughs> Here is somewhere you can park. There is no sign here. Here is somewhere you should not park. There is a no parking sign. And that is the end of the parking lesson. That's all very clear. Thank you, Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Just doing our job. Hello, Police Officer Panda. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. Say cheese. What? A parking ticket? But that's outrageous! I was only parked for a moment! This sign was clearly visible. 
And you were parked in front of it. Ho, ho, you're right. It just goes to show that nobody is above the law. <laughs> and even grown-ups get told off. <laughs> <laughs> What a lovely card! Open it! Ah! Glitter! Yes! We used all the glitter! How wonderful! <laughs> Daddy Pig loves glitter. Everyone loves glitter. <laughs> now, let's make a Father's Day cake. What can we put in the cake? <laughs> yes, George! Daddy does like cereal! <laughs> And tomato ketchup. <laughs> I'm not sure Daddy Pig likes ketchup in cake. Daddy does like ketchup. <laughs> Everyone likes tomato ketchup. Cheese! Yes, George. Daddy loves cheese. <laughs> oh, oh, what's going on here? <gasps> Daddy, don't look. It's a surprise. You were supposed to be watching racing cars on TV. I thought I would get up and do something. You could always cut the grass. Daddy can't work on Daddy's Day, Mummy. Thank you, Peppa. You can give me and George piggyback rides. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hard work not working. <laughs> now it's time for your tea party. This way, Daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Would you like some tea? Thank you, Peppa. And is there any cake? Oh, yes, the cake. Here it is, Pepper. But I'm not sure it's the sort of cake that can actually be eaten. Yes, it is. It is the best cake ever. George and me made it all ourselves. Fantastic. I can't wait to try it. Mm -hmm. What's in it? All your favourite things. Mmm. Tasty. Did you have a nice day, Daddy? <laughs> yes, Pepper and George. It was super. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves Father's Day. Everybody loves Father's Day. <laughs> Let's do lots of sounds and surprise Daddy. What a good idea. Come on, George. <laughs> Pepper and George are recording lots of different sounds. In the kitchen. In the bedroom. <laughs> in the living room. In the hallway. <laughs> even in the garden. Pepper, George, Daddy will be home soon. Have you finished recording your sounds? <laughs> no, Mummy. There's just one more. Come on, George. Follow me. What sound can it be? It's a very important sound. Pepper <laughs> is going into the bathroom. Flush the toilet, George. <laughs> Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> I've been looking forward to playing my new synthesizer all day. Mmm, lovely music. It's even more lovely with the buttons, Daddy. <laughs> Play it again. All right. Whoa! <laughs> What's that? That's me! We've made lots of silly sounds. Play it again! <laughs> <laughs> it's funny music, Daddy. Oh, oh it certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig loves funny music. Everyone loves funny music. Don't worry, there is something we can do with daisies. We can make a daisy chain. What's a daisy chain? I'll show you. First you take a daisy and make a little hole in the stem. Take another daisy and thread it through that hole. Then 
Make a hole in that daisy stem and thread another daisy through that hole. Look, a daisy chain. Wow. wow. Let me try. Make a hole in the stem, thread a daisy through. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> we can join them together to make one big daisy chain necklace. There. Now you are the daisy queen, Peppa. Yes. I am the Daisy Queen. Look at me, look at me! <laughs> no, George, I am the Daisy Queen. You need to be something else. Oh. George, you can be a lion. And these dandelions can be your mane. <laughs> George is a dandelion. Oh! George likes being a lion. Children, come and get your food. <laughs> Look, everyone. I am the Daisy Queen, and this is George the Lion. Ooh. Ooh. And I know a trick to see if you like butter, Daddy. Really? Yes, you do like butter. Oh, oh I do. That's very clever, Pepper. Can I try? Mmm, yes. Daddy also likes eggs and tomato, cheese and cake. Wow! How do you know all that, Mummy? Because he's got bits of egg, tomato, cheese and cake all down his front. Ho, ho! <laughs> Daddy Pig loves picnics. Everybody loves picnics. <laughs> You pick a marble and you put it in here and it goes tumble-tumble all the way down to the bottom. Ooh! I'll show you. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> again, again! Again! Bye bye, Mummy. You can go and do your work now. Oh, thank you, Peppa. Have fun. Can I have a go? Yes, Rebecca. You take this marble and you... Ready, steady, go! <laughs> that was fun! And then you can add some more bits to the marble run. Let's make it the biggest marble run ever! Yay! <laughs> Let's add this wiggly bit. And a windmill bit. The marble will make it go round and round. Do you want to have a go, George? <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> it's going down the windmill bit. And the wiggly bit. And there. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> let's add more bits. Yes, let's make the biggest marble run ever. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! That looks good, Rebecca. Now it's Richard's turn. Marble run! Richard has lots of marbles. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Look at all the marbles going everywhere. <laughs> I thought I heard your marble run, Pepper. Can I join in? Yes, Daddy. Oh, goody. Let's make it bigger. Daddy Pig loves building the marble run. Ah, there are no more bits of marble run left in the box. Oh. Never mind. We can use other things. I sell you this morning. I'm a solar-powered torch, a wooden frying pan, an electric gnome. Nothing for us today, thank you, Mr Fox. Unless you've got a metal detector. Metal detector? Well, why didn't you say so? I've got a metal detector right here. Fantastic. It's just like my old one. It's got three settings, finding things, good at finding things, and really good at finding things. Excellent. We'll take it. Now we can find George's lost key. Hooray! How does the metal detector work, Grandpa? I'll show you. Imagine I have lost this coin. I turn on the metal detector and swing it gently from side to side. I'm looking for it here. I'm looking for it there. But, Grandpa, 
Grandpa, you put the coin here. I know, Peppa. I'm just pretending to look for it. Why don't you pretend to look for it here? Here, you say? Aha! I found something. It's a coin. Yes, Grandpa. It's the one you just put there. Yes, Peppa. And that's how you find things with a metal detector. Can we have a go? <laughs> of course. Let's find that lost key. <laughs> here, there, here. We found something. No, oh, it's a nail. Oh. Keep looking. <laughs> here, there, there's something else. A spoon. What's that doing here? <laughs> this is fun. No. <laughs> key, key. George wants to find the key. Oh, what is it, Grandpa? It's the key. Hooray! <laughs> now we can wind up Mr. Robot. No. George never wants to lose the key again. Don't worry, George. If the key falls out again, we can find it with my new metal detector. Pussy, you will run around the cones like this to win a point. Ooh. But if anyone catches the ball, Susie is out and gets no points. Oh. Let's play. Everyone takes their positions for bat and ball. Are you ready, Susie? Stand back, everyone. I'm going to hit it a million miles. Ooh. Ready? Ready. Run, Susie, run! Oh, yes. <laughs> Quick, get the ball. Get it. I got all the way around. I win one point. Well done, Susie. Now it's George's turn to bet. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I think George is too young to do bat and ball. You're never too young to play bat and ball, Peppa. Oh, all right. Just try your best, George. <laughs> George has hit the ball backwards. Run, George! <laughs> Get it! Get the ball! I'll fetch it! George has run all the way round and scored a point. Hooray! Very good, George! <laughs> Thank you, Danny. <laughs> and now it is my turn to bet. Aren't you too old, Madam Gazelle? You're never too old to play bat and ball, Peppa. OK. Just try your best. Ooh. Madam Gazelle is good at batting. You hit it a million miles. And now I run. <laughs> Catch the ball! I'll get it. Let's Let's get, get the it. ball! Hooray! That's one point! The ball is going all the way to the school. Oh, I'll go round again. I'll get it! It's going the other way. Round again. Get the ball! I'm scoring lots of points. Get it! Here it comes! Catch the ball! Catch the ball? No. Did you get it, Susie? No. Who's got it? I haven't got it. I win! I win! I am the champion! <laughs> George caught the ball. Hooray! I lose. I lose all my points. Well done, George. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Molly Mole is good at digging. Wow! Molly's digging a long tunnel. <laughs> oh, I found something. What is it? Wow! It's a pirate treasure chest. I wonder how it got there. It's a mystery. We'd better tell my daddy. My goodness, where did this hole come from? Daddy! Daddy, we found some pirate treasure at the end of our tunnel. Treasure? How did it get there? We don't know. It's a mystery. 
Maybe we should call the police. <laughs> They'll know what to do. This is the police station. Hello, police station. Hello, it's Daddy Pig here. We found some pirate treasure. Pirate treasure, you say? We'll be right there. <laughs> Hello, 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 hello. That is how the police say hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I want to be a policeman when I grow up. Good lad. <laughs> so, where's this pirate treasure then? Under the ground. We were just digging this tunnel when suddenly we found this. Yes, yes, yes. That's pirate treasure, all right. It's just like the pirate treasure we have back at the police station. Let's take this back and put it with the other one. Oh, dear. Police Officer Panda is dropping coins along the way. Right. Back to the police station. <laughs> Can we have the Nina, please? Why not? Nina, 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 Nina. This way to the lost property. Down here is where we keep all the lost things. Wow. Umbrellas, shoes, a lamppost, even a lost cupboard. Ah, oh, that's not lost, Freddy. This is where we keep the pirate treasure. Oh, it's gone. That's strange. Another mystery. <laughs> Pepper, yeah. George, careful, or you might trip and fall. Ow! My arm! Oh dear, Pepper has tripped and bumped her arm. Hmm, I think we should call Dr Brown Bear. Dr Brown Bear speaking. A bumped arm, you say? And on Christmas Day, I'll be right there. So, Peppa, bumped your arm, have you? Yes. Can you wiggle your fingers? That's very good. But just to be safe, we'll take a trip to the hospital. This is the hospital. Miss Rabbit is the nurse. Who's next? <clears throat> that will be me. Wait, we have a sick child. Oh, a child. A child, yes. That's more important than me. Miss Rabbit will take you from here, Peppa. Yes, just follow me, please. Oh, Miss Rabbit, the hospital is all Christmassy. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Pedro. Why are you here? I bumped my arm. I banged my leg and I got a sticker. Wow! Sit yourself down and tell me where it hurts. Here, on my arm. Can you wiggle your fingers? A little bit. Can you say banana? Banana? That was a joke, to make you feel relaxed. <laughs> Do you feel relaxed? Yes. Good. We just need to take a picture of your arm with the x-ray. Ooh, what's the x-ray? It shows us the bones inside your body. How does it work? It uses a cathode and anode controlled beam of electromagnetic... It's magic! Ooh! The x-ray shows your arm will be fine, Peppa. And for being so brave, you get a sticker. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. It is the day to give cards to the people we love. My daddy didn't get one this morning. What? Oh, how sad. I've finished cleaning the windows, Madam Gazelle. Thank you, Mr Bull. Oh, dear. You look sad. Oh, I just heard that Daddy Pig did not get a Valentine card. No Valentine's card? No. Goodbye, Mr Bull. Goodbye. Children, today we will all make Valentine's cards for the people we love. Yay! I'm going to make a Valentine's card for my mummy and daddy. I'm making a Valentine's card for my mummy and daddy. <laughs> I'm making a Valentine's card for Super Potato. And one for my mummy and daddy. <laughs> Mr. Bull has gone to the supermarket. Hello, Mr. Bull. You look sad. Well, 
I heard this morning that Daddy Pig didn't get a Valentine's card. No. Really? Did you hear that, Dr Hamster? Daddy Pig didn't get a Valentine's card. Ah, oh, poor Pickle. Did you hear? Daddy Pig did not get a Valentine's card. Oh, dear. What was that? Nobody's ever given Daddy Pig a Valentine's card. <gasps> <laughs> what wonderful cards, children. I am sure whoever gets them will be very happy. <laughs> it is home time. <laughs> mummy, Mummy, we made Valentine's cards for you and Daddy. Oh, lovely. Pepper and George have arrived home. <laughs> happy Valentine's Day, Daddy. For me? Yes, Valentine. <laughs> Fantastic. Did you get a card from Mummy yet? No, not yet. Ah, Mr Zebra, busy day? A very busy day indeed. Look at this sack, full of Valentine's cards. Have you got a card for me? No, I haven't got a card for you. Oh. I've got a whole sack full. Ooh. There are hundreds of Valentine's cards, <laughs> all for Daddy Pig. Hooray! Daddy Pig, who sent you all these Valentine's cards? Oh, it wasn't you. No, I sent you this one. With love from Mummy Pig. Who sent all the rest? Um... Happy Valentine's Day, Daddy Pig! Everyone has sent Daddy Pig a Valentine's card. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> a car is not a vegetable. That is right! Hooray! Next question. A chocolate biscuit is a fruit. Yes or no? Yes, it's a fruit. My daddy eats five chocolate biscuits every day. Have another guess, Pedro. Is a chocolate biscuit a fruit? Uh, no. That's right! Hooray! And now, the fruit or vegetable questions. Fruit or vegetable? I hope he asks about carrots. What is a strawberry? Fruit or vegetable? A strawberry is a fruit. Yes! A watermelon. Fruit or vegetable? A watermelon is a fruit. Yes! A cabbage. Fruit or vegetable? A cabbage is a vegetable. Yes! A tomato. Fruit or vegetable? Vegetable! Fruit! A tomato is a vegetable, not a fruit. No! A tomato is a fruit, not a vegetable. Would you like to call a friend? Yes, please! Call a friend. Tell me, which of your friends might know the answer? Elephant. Then let's telephone Edmund the Elephant. Hooray! It's for you. Hello. Hello, Edmund. Is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Some people think a tomato is a fruit because it has seeds. But in the 19th century, the Port Authority of New York classified tomatoes as vegetables, which were subject to a 10% import tax. So I will say you are both right! Hooray! <laughs> You two need real Viking life jackets. <laughs> Are we all ready? Yeah! Then let's go! Oh, how do we start the boat? I'll phone Grandpa Pig. Grandpa Pig speaking. Hello, Grandpa. How did you start your boat? Just press the green button and off you go. Thank you. Bye! Mm -hmm. They're taking my boat! Ah! 
My boat! Vikings, onward! Rah! Oh, dear. The picnic basket has been left behind. <sighs> My boat! Ah! Grandad Dog, follow that boat. Aye, aye, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Vikings, 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 we sail across the sea. We like to shout, we like to sing, we like a cup of tea. Ah! <laughs> All this sea air is making me hungry. Hungry! Hungry! Oh, where is the picnic basket? <gasps> We've forgotten the food. But I'm so hungry. And me, and me. Food, food. food. The Vikings are very hungry. We need to find food! Look, what's that? It is Miss Rabbit's food stall. Food! Food! Ah! ah! Vikings! Four teas, two juices and cake, please. Oh, OK. Ah! There they are! <sighs> Caught you, Granny Pig. Grandpa Pig. You've arrived just in time. Have I? Yes, for tea and cake. Tea and cake. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> You're making music. Wow. George has a bucket. <laughs> Blowing on the bucket does not make music. Let's put some water in your bucket, George. <laughs> Here is a straw. <gasps> <laughs> George is making bubbly music. I'm going to make music with a shaker, some beans and marbles. There. Oh, wonderful shaking music, Pepper. It goes very well with George's bubble music. <laughs> Freddy Fox has a balloon. <laughs> very funny, Freddy. What instrument will you make, Madam Gazelle? This is my favourite made-up musical instrument. Madam Gazelle has a musical instrument made out of drinking glasses. Do you blow them like my bottles? No. Do you hit them with a stick? No. Do you shake them? No. I play them with my fingers. Wow! <laughs> the parents have arrived to collect the children. Oh, you are just in time to listen to our made-up musical orchestra. It's made out of bits and bobs. Ooh. Ooh. Children, I will start and then you join in. Parents like made-up musical instruments. Everybody likes made-up musical instruments. Susie! Yes? Are you awake? Yes. I wish I was grown up. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> when we're grown up, we will be downstairs watching TV and eating pizza. Yes. And babysitting. And going to the cinema. And staying up all night. <laughs> <laughs> In the future, we will have a yellow car. No, blue. Yellow and blue. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drive. So will I. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Dog will be a spaceman. Yes. I'm off to space. <laughs> and George will be a dinosaur. Dinosaur. Grr. <laughs> and Freddy Fox will be a policeman. Hello, hello, hello. 
what's all this here, then? This is our grown-up car. Can you beep your horn for me, please? <laughs> Very good. Off you go, then. Bye! Bye. What will your job be? I will be a nurse. But in my lunch break, I will fly a plane. Good afternoon, everybody. We are now flying all around the world. <laughs> <laughs> what will your job be, Peppa? My job will be doing important work on my computer. <laughs> we will live in a big house with fountains. And a swing. <laughs> and I will marry Pedro. Or Danny. And I'll do that too. <laughs> <laughs> and we will live with all our friends. Hello. And all our children will be there. <laughs> <laughs> but who will look after all these children? We will. Bedtime, everybody. Time for your tea. No football in the house. Phew. Phew. Wash our hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of animals have you got here, Mrs Badger? We've got chickens. Here are the chickens. It's time for the chickens' lunch. Would you like to feed them? Yes, yes please. OK, have a bag of birdseed each. <laughs> Here, Tick Tick, come and eat some seeds. <laughs> tick Tick. <laughs> what lucky chickens! Yes, they certainly are well fed. <laughs> now, who wants to hold a baby chick? Me, 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 me. me. <laughs> oh, they're so little. They're so fluffy. They're so sweet. <laughs> it's true. Baby chicks are little and fluffy and sweet. Mrs Badger, what other animals have you got? We've got guinea pigs. Can we see the guinea pigs? Of course. But before you see them, you need to... Wash our hands! That's right. <laughs> Wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, swabbly, swabbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Here are the guinea pigs. Oh, look at their cute little faces. Uh. And their fluffy little bodies. You can pick them up and stroke them if you like. Oh, you are lovely. Adorable, aren't they? That's not quite the word I would use. And they make excellent pets. Can we have a guinea pig, Daddy? Please? We haven't really got the space to keep a guinea pig. You don't need much space. Uh, and they probably need lots of looking after. No, guinea pigs are very easy to look after. And I would do all the work. But, Peppa, um, you might not want to do that forever and then... You could always look after it for her. Uh, look at the time. I think we have to be getting home. Oh, yes. Look, Rebecca, there's your mummy. She's come to meet you. Here is Mummy Rabbit with the baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Mummy. <laughs> oh, look, cute little baby rabbits. <laughs> pineapple. <laughs> George likes pineapple on his pizza. Ah, pineapple on pizza? No, that's just not right. In fact, I think pineapple on pizza is against the law. <laughs> Silly daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually not against the law to put pineapple on pizza. Um, daddy, can we make funny faces on top of the pizzas? Of course we can. But before we start cooking, we have to wash our hands. Wash, 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 wash our hands, hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Let's wipe the table clean. And put our aprons on. <laughs> right. Let's make pizza. Pizza, pizza. 
Pepper, George, could you please mix this flour and water together with your fingers? <laughs> it's all sticky and stretchy. <laughs> Perfect. I'm just going to knead it. We sprinkle a little flour on the table so the dough doesn't stick. You need to be big and strong to knead dough. I am big and strong. <laughs> and George is big and strong too. <laughs> okay, that's enough kneading. Let's make the dough into four balls. One, two, three, four. And we roll them flat with a rolling pin. Ah, oh, it looks like a pizza now. <laughs> but an expert pizza maker doesn't need a rolling pin. Watch this. <laughs> Daddy has a pizza on his head. Ho, ho. This one can be mine. <laughs> Pepper, George, please smooth the tomato over the pizzas. <laughs> I like making pizza. Then I'm afraid you can't come in. But we are children. <laughs> And we want to see how TV is made. Oh, in that case, in you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Ooh! Wow. wow! Hello there. Here is Miss Rabbit. Have you come to see how we make television? Yes! Very good. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> It's a potato. Hello, everyone. Hello. You see, he's not tiny. He's big. We're ready for you now, Super Potato. The show must go on. This is where the magic happens. It's not magic. It's science. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're ready to go. Light. Camera and action! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. And cut! That was amazing! The camera now turns all of that into magic bits. Electromagnetic signals. That go to a thingy on the roof. Television transmitter. The thingy... Transmitter. Sends the magic bits across the sky to the TV aerial on your roof. Unless you have a cable or a dish. And down into the TV. Susie Sheep and her mummy are at home watching television. Fruit and vegetables keep, keep us, us alive. alive. Always, Always remember, remember to eat your five. five. Would any of you like to be on TV? Yes, please. We just have to put you in front of the camera. OK. Action. What do I do? Just say something. Anything. OK. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. Wow! Peppa and George are on TV. This is Mummy Pig. <laughs> and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Peppa, it's for you. Peppa, I can see you on TV. <laughs> Am I tiny? Yes, you are tiny. <laughs> this is fun. Can I be on TV again? Of course. Now we've recorded that, you can be on TV every day. Hundreds and hundreds of times. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa loves TV. <laughs> Everyone loves TV. Ice cream! Hooray! Everyone is queuing for ice cream. Hello, Mrs Cat. What flavour would you like? Is the vanilla ice cream nice? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I haven't tried it yet. It is Mr Labrador's first day selling ice creams. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Would you like one? Yes, please. What's the strawberry flavour like? I I'd better check. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Ooh, that's nice as well. I want a strawberry ice cream. 
What do you want, George? Ice cream! <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Is the mint ice cream good? Mmm, <laughs> lovely. Four mint ice creams, please. Thank you, Mr Labrador. It is Pepper and George's turn. Can I have a strawberry ice cream, please? Ah, I seem to have run out of strawberry ice cream. Then, can I have a vanilla ice cream, please? Oh, there's no vanilla left either. Actually, I've got no ice cream left at all. <laughs> no ice cream? <laughs> Hmm, maybe I tried too many myself. <laughs> yes, maybe you did. Mr Labrador loves ice cream. Don't worry, my little ones. Let's make our own ice cream instead. Can we do that? Yes, we used to make ice cream for your mummy when she was a little piggy. Oh, homemade ice cream. That sounds lovely. Ruff. Up aboard now, take it back home. Can we have the ice cream music, please? Good idea, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's make ice cream. First, we pour some milk into a jug. Then we add some cream. Now, what flavour would you like your ice cream to be? We do have raspberries and strawberries from the garden. Yes! Let's make raspberry and strawberry ice cream. <laughs> In they go. Then we pour all our ingredients into a freezer bag. Now we need to make it very cold. Ooh. We'll put the ice cream bag into this bag full of ice and salt and wrap it all in a towel. Now for the fun part. We shake it up and down for five minutes. You can start the shaking, Pepper. Ice cream, ice cream, shake, shake, shake. Ice cream, ice cream is what we make. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Pepper. Ice cream, ice cream! <laughs> ice cream, ice cream, shake, shake, shake. Ice cream, ice cream is what we make. One last shake from me, and I think it might be ready. Did it work? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> it's the best ice cream in the world. <coughs> Let's make something in the middle. Like what? How about the biggest sandcastle in the world? Yes. yes. We need a heap of sand. <laughs> Wendy, Pedro, Pepper and George are making a hill in the middle of the castle. And on the very top... Ta-da! It looks great. Yes, really good. Now it needs the bobbly bits. What are bobbly bits? All castles have bobbly bits on top of the walls, like this. Ah! Wendy Wolf is using pebbles to make the castle's bubbly bits. And it needs flags. <laughs> Pepper and George are collecting little sticks and some seaweed to make flags. <laughs> it needs windows. <laughs> Pedro is using shells to make windows. There. What a fantastic sandcastle. Let's add a moat. What's a moat? You'll see. We dig the moat all around outside the wall. Good idea. Everyone help dig. OK. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have to fill the moat with water. Let's get water from the sea. <laughs> 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 the moat is full of water. The castle's finished! Hooray! I wish it could be my home and I could live in it. <laughs> You're too big to live in a sandcastle, Pepper. Here is Mr Crab. He's come to take a look at the castle. Hello, Mr Crab. Do you have a home to live in? Oh, he looks sad. <coughs> I don't think Mr Crab has a home. He can live in our castle. Yes, in you go, Mr Crab. 
Oh, but how does he get across the moat? He needs a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> George has found a piece of driftwood. <laughs> George has made a bridge. Mr Crab likes the bridge. But he can't get inside the castle. We just need to make a little door. Mr Crab is the king of the castle. <laughs> Let's get building. What are we going to build? A present for Dr. Hamster to help her get fit. We'll need these and this. I'm not forgetting this. And a little bit from this washing machine. How can you make a present from this pile of rubbish? It's not rubbish, Mummy Pig. This is an excellent ladder. And so is this one. <laughs> Are you making a roundabout? No. Are you making a paddling pool? No. What do you think it's going to be, George? Dinosaur. No. I just need to wrap it up. Grumpy Rabbit is wrapping the present. Finished. Present ever! Yes, it's too big to fit in the car. That's all right, we can roll it. Grumpy Rabbit has rolled the present all the way to Dr. Hamster's surgery. What's that noise? We've got a present for you, Dr. Hamster. Oh, thank you. Hey, I wonder what it is. Why don't you open it and find out? All right. Oh, that's lovely. Eh, uh, what is it exactly? I just need to fix it in place. Get in and jog. All right. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> it's a hamster wheel. Yes. Dr. Hamster loves hamster wheels. <laughs> Every hamster loves hamster wheels. Look, it's moving. The chrysalis is hatching. Ooh, what is it? Dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's, it's a, a butterfly. butterfly. The caterpillar has turned into a beautiful butterfly. Who wants to decorate one of these paper butterfly wings? Me! 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 All the children are making beautiful <laughs> butterfly wings. Oh, lovely. Can we do a butterfly dance? Yes, but we don't start as butterflies, do we, children? No! What was the butterfly before it was a butterfly? A caterpillar! That's right. First, you should do the caterpillar dance. Yay! <laughs> You're all caterpillars wiggling around on the ground. <laughs> I'm the wiggliest caterpillar. <laughs> Me too. I'm a super caterpillar. <laughs> and now it's time to go to sleep. Be very still, children. Imagine that you're nice and safe inside a cosy chrysalis. And you are changing into something different. Madame Gazelle and Dr Hamster are secretly putting the wings on the children. Now it's time to wake up and open your eyes. <laughs> I've got wings! Me too! We're <laughs> Pedro Pony is fast asleep. Vicky, Vicky, Pedro. <gasps> what is it, Mummy? Am I late for school? No, you are at school. Oh, I'm a butterfly. Nay. No. Yes, we're, we're all butterflies. We are little butterflies who like to play. We flap our pretty wings and we play all day. 
Where's Granny Pig? Here I am. Granny Pig is wearing a pretend beard. Today, I am a caveman. Ooh. Granny and her friends are pretending to be in the Stone Age. What's the Stone Age? Well, it was a long, long time ago. When people lived in caves, ate berries, and chased big, hairy elephants called mammoths. Can we be Stone Age too? Of course you can. I've made you both costumes. Look, George, we're in the Stone Age. <laughs> Come and see what we're doing in the garden. Here are Granny Wolf, Granny Dog and Madame Gazelle. Look, everyone, here are Stone Age Pepper and George. Hello. We are digging a cave with our stone tools. Why don't you have buckets and spades? Stone Age people didn't have buckets and spades. You see, today we are living exactly as people did in the Stone Age. Tea time for thirsty Stone Age people. Oh, lovely. Do Stone Age people drink tea? Uh, not exactly. But I'm sure if they could have had tea, they would have had tea. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Mmm, all this digging has made me rather hungry. Me too. Let's gather berries. Yes, yes berries. Mmm, mm. strawberries. Mm. Ah, you're eating all my precious strawberries. But that's what Stone Age people did. Well, can't you do some other Stone Agey thing instead? I suppose we could chase woolly mammoths. Good idea. But there aren't any woolly mammoths now. Grandpa Pig can be a woolly mammoth. Yes! yes. Oh, all right. If it keeps you away from my strawberries. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. You run and we will chase you. OK. Ho, oh, ho. I'm a woolly mammoth. <sighs> Coming to get you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never get me. Yes, we will. We <laughs> 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 got you. <laughs> What's hysterical redemactment? It's when you dress up like it's the olden days. And sit around drinking tea. We do more than just drink tea. <laughs> Today, we were being Romans. What's Romans? Romans were people who lived a very long time ago. And I am the emperor. The emperor was the boss of all the Romans. Ooh. Goodbye. See you next week, Granny Pig. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Granny, can we be Romans too? Yes, Pepper. Here are some helmets. <laughs> <laughs> now what do we do? We march around saying Veni, Vidi, Vici. What does that mean, Granny? It probably means anyone for another cup of tea. No. <laughs> it means I came, I saw, I conquered. Veni, Vidi, Vici. <laughs> Veni, Vidi, Vici. <laughs> Granny Pig loves being a Roman. Veni, Vidi, Vici. <laughs> Pepper and George love being Romans too. Pepper and George have been doing some lovely pictures this morning. My goodness, they're very good. They look just like Polly. Just like Polly. <laughs> <laughs> the Romans like making pictures too, you know. Did they? Yes. They used coloured pieces to make pictures, known as mosaics. Here's one I made this morning. Ooh. Can we make a mosaic? What a good idea. You'll need some coloured pebbles. Follow me. I've got a whole bag of pebbles in my shed. This is Grandpa Pig's shed. Here we are. Lots of coloured pebbles. <laughs> George, what shall we make a picture of? Dinosaur. Good idea, George. You find the green pebbles for the dinosaur. Let's do some more bird calls. I can do a duck. Quack, quack. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <laughs> uh, 
I wonder if there's a duck in my book. Mrs Duck must be in your book. She is very special. Of course she is. <coughs> ah, here we go. A duck. And George can do a pigeon. Do your pigeon, George. <coughs> Look, Grandpa, pigeons! Uh, they seem to have left pigeons out of my book. How are you doing, Grandpa Pig? Spotted any rare birds? Um, we saw a duck and some pigeons. Uh, and I have high hopes of spotting a cuckoo. Pepper, George, Grandpa, lunch is ready. Oh, goody! Bye. A cuckoo, you say? How were you planning on spotting a cuckoo? Oh, you know, uh, I was just going to call cuckoo. <laughs> My goodness, it worked. Well done, old chap. Cuckoo. <laughs> it's inside the house. Oh, that is not a real cuckoo. That is Pepper's toy cuckoo clock. Sorry to barge in like this, but Grandpa Pig has heard a cuckoo. You're in here somewhere. But Grandpa... Quiet, everyone. We don't want to scare the cuckoo away. <coughs> ah! Oh, it's a cuckoo clock. That means I can't tick it off in my book. But Grandpa, my cuckoo clock is very special. It certainly is. I think you should tick it off. I would if it was me. Uh, what does everyone else think? Strictly speaking, it's... OK. If everyone thinks it's fair... Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa Pig loves bird spotting. Everybody loves bird spotting. <laughs> 